My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have a completely, totally restored 69 Camaro. It's done as a Copo tribute. Copo is central office production order. That's when you went in and you special ordered a 427 and a Camaro. This is a tribute to one of those cars. It's a high performance driveline. I'll tell you all about it in just a few minutes. And if you visit volocars.com, you can read all the specs, study a hundred pictures or more, get the price, not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy the uh, video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, let's go for a spin in this big block four-speed Camaro. I hope you don't think I'm doing the invisible car here. It's all white, white interior, white walls in the background. Probably looks like I'm showing you four, four tires here. Uh, but anyway, this car was restored. It was an eight-year restoration project. It was finished in the late 90s, so it's over a 20-year-old restoration. It looks like it was just done in the last year or two. Uh, so it's proven itself. This body is just about pristine. Underneath the car, uh, all clean metal. Most of it's painted white. There's some black paint in places, but good, clean metal. Not patched up, but nice clean metal underneath. The whole front end was completely apart, all rebuilt. Ball joints, bushings, tie rods, control arms, sway bar, shocks. The front end's completely rebuilt. Then they put in uh, frame connectors. It ties the front to the back, keeps it from twisting. Uh, it has Caltrack tubular control arms in back. Uh, and all the hardware and the leaf springs, nuts, bolts, bushings, all that was replaced. All new fuel system, it's an 18 gallon tank, new sending unit, new uh, straps with the insulators. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's all still clean. It's an M21 four speed that was rebuilt, it has haze clutch and flywheel. Uh, they put a new uh, drive shaft, custom drive shaft with all the new U joints. It's a Ford nine inch uh, rear end. It was built by Doug Mosier himself. Uh, it has 31 spline axles. It's a three and a half to one uh, locker, you know, posi uh, gear unit that's in there. Uh, disc brakes in front. Uh, they're drum brakes in back. They're the, it's a Ford rear end, so yeah, they're drum. It's Ford SVO, they're high performance uh, brakes. Uh, so yeah, I did pretty good. I have a cheat sheet here, as did all that off memory though. Look at all the receipts that go with the car. There's a pile of uh, paperwork. And there's a dyno sheet in here as well. But I am gonna refer to the cheat sheet now. The engine, it's a big block motor, 438 cubic inches. It's dyno tested, I've got the sheets in there. 494 horsepower, and uh, it was something like 430 pounds of torque. Uh, I was balanced, is forged crank, 9.58 to 1 compression TRW pistons. It's been ported, it's been shot peened. It has a stock aluminum GM intake on there like the original motor would have had. Um, it's a stock 780 Howley carb, dated 1969, it's all been rebuilt. It has a fluid dampener, MSD ignition, uh, crane mechanical cam, roller rockers, 4160 push rods. Uh, let's see what else I might have missed here. Uh, Hayes clutch, a rebuilt trans. It's a. Oh, sorry about the exhaust. Two inch primaries. Uh, the headers, they're hooker headers. They're coated inside and out by airborne coatings. Three inch mandrel bent from the headers all the way to the rear bumper. Uh, luminized exhaust, Deltron paint called Arctic White. This vehicle has no rust or bondo anywhere. Uh, all new wiring, 15 by 7 wheels, 15 by 8 in back, and they have like a, an offset. 
Uh, so they're pushed out a little bit. And uh, there you have it. Now I'll go around and tell you what I see. I'm really impressed with the body. Uh, truly, a 20-year-old paint job, and it is practically flawless. It's all metal. There are new fenders, new hood, new trunk lid, new quarters. It's all clean. Not a bubble or blister at all. This smooth as glass. This is probably one of the nicest white paint jobs I've seen. White can hide a lot, but when you're looking at it, if this was a black car, it would be glass. Uh, it is white glass. And it's all slick, even to the touch. It's slick as can be. Everything fits real nice. No issues. Very clean, even around here is smooth. This is all in excellent condition. Around here, they always crack. This is all excellent. There is one crack here. It's also a typical spot. It looks like a hair laying there. One short little crack, nothing to worry about. Other than that, it's like pristine. All of the trim, the mirrors, the door handles, the stainless moldings, the wipers, uh, all that's been replaced. Marker lights, bumpers. The Copo is usually just a basic car, so it doesn't have SS equipment. just has the Chevy bow tie in the grill. All that looks new. This one does have spoilers, uh, and they came with the towel induction hood. We're going to start it in a minute, but it's a nice running car. Um, Everything in here is really nice and proper. It's got the cow induction air cleaner, the brackets, the nuts and bolts all look proper and clean. Uh, the booster and master cylinder, it's got power steering. It is a big block uh, heater core, uh, GM reproduction hoses and clamps. It has the curved neck radiator, which is correct for this big block. It's all really nice. Door jams, painted up nice, new weather strips, new window seals. The interior was completely restored. All new wiring, new cushions in the seats, new upholstery, new headrest, new door panels, armrest, a new carpet, has embroidered floor mats. All in here, all the trim and the speaker tray is nice. Headliner and the sail panels, they're all new and they're tight as a drum, there's no wrinkles. Inside the trunk is very tidy, uh, all clean metal, uh, spatter painted very nicely. It's got the rubber mat, has insulation on the back of the seat. This is painted a nice gloss white, nice rubber. It's got a spare, it's got an aftermarket scissors jack. It has a tilt wheel, the steering wheel was replaced. The dash is nice, it has the factory tachometer in the dash which relocated the gas gauge to the middle, which is kind of rare, as a kind of vintage style oil pressure gauge under the dash. There's a retro stereo in there. Uh, getting back in here, new wiring, uh, the control arms are nice, power steering hoses look new, uh, the hinges are gray like they're supposed to be, batteries bolted down, horns are there, so all that looks really good. I'm going to fire it up for you. I'm sure you want to hear it run. Seats feel good. Like I say, I have new cushions. The dash pad's real nice. The mirror is a little cloudy. It's the original mirror. It's got the 140 mile an hour speedometer. Everything feels good. Your doors open and close easily. I mean, that runs. That's exactly how we want all of our cars to sound and run and no coughing or sputtering. Uh, so yeah, excellent car. It does have a reassigned VIN number on it years ago. The paperwork and documentation is all in the folder. Car's all clean, legit. It was all done properly. And uh, there you have it. 
body off frame, restored, dialed in car. The guy I got the car from, he has really good cars. He dials them in. Any car I get from him, I know is ready to go in the photo room here, and I know it's ready to be sold, and I know the next customer is going to be happy. So you're getting a good car from a good seller. And uh, go to volocars.com. There's plenty of ways to contact our salespeople. Ask them whatever questions you may have about the car, the process. They can help with delivery, with financing. I just gave you my honest impression of the car. If you want more details, feel free to ask. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon, and you will be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.